Hello class. Today my guest and I will discuss electrostatic discharge, ESD. When we finish you will be able to define ESD and you will be able to list three of four ways to control ESD. Hello John. Hello Denise. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. Let's jump right in. What exactly is ESD? ESD, electrostatic discharge is the discharge of static electricity. You and your students have most commonly experienced it when walking across a carpet and receiving a shock when you touch the doorknob. How many of us have had that happen? How are these charges generated? The most common generation of static charge is the triboelectric charge developed when rubbing together and then separating two masses. I see. Does ESD present any particular problem? ESD does not have to be seen to do damage to electronic components. If the damaged component fails immediately, the result can be a board that fails tests and requires rework resulting in the loss of production. Is component failure the only problem? Worse than that, a component may be partially damaged and weakened. It may remain in specification, but fail later when in use by the customer. That sounds expensive. It is. It has been estimated that 90% of damaged devices are discovered this way. Can we do anything to control ESD? There are four things that can be done to help control ESD. Design the components to be immune to static electricity, eliminate and reduce the generation of static electricity, dissipate and neutralize the static electricity, and as much as possible protect products from ESD. That's our time for today. John you have given us a lot to consider. Thank you for visiting with us today. It was my pleasure Denise. Okay class, hope you all took good notes. Remember that the most common cause of static electricity is the triboelectric effect. The simple definition of ESD is the discharge of static electricity. Finally, the four ways to help control ESD are to design immunity into the components, eliminate and reduce generation, dissipate and neutralize, and protect products from ESD. Okay class let's give John a round of applause for sharing with us today.